YouTube. This is a video about engine temperatures with snorkel use and which direction makes a difference. Right now, our engine temperature is sitting a little bit over 165 Fahrenheit, and we have our snorkel backwards. It is also minus 16 outside, and you can see on our temperature, it's almost minus 14 now, it's gotten a little warmer. Normally our engine operates around a little over 180, like 190-ish, and I'm going to stop and change the snorkel direction to see if it actually makes a difference. I've heard there's something called the Venturi effect that when a snorkel is backwards, it actually has it curl the, the, the force of connection of the air to the, the structure of the snorkel actually pulls the air into the, the hole when it's facing backwards. So I'm going to stop and then start again. and see if that makes any difference temperature wise I was also trying sideways for a bit too so even idling you can see our temperature has dropped even a little bit here it's below 165 now and we'll have to start driving again and see if the forward facing is, is cooler. I might el also stop again and then switch to the sideways, which I'd be recommended for snow on occasions. So we will see what the forward direction does. We'll check back in about five minutes, see if the engine temperature warms up. So we... Wait, wait. We have gone another 10 minutes here. The engine temperature has gone up a bit, but we've also increased the temperature outside by one degree, so it's minus 13. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it again. This time to a side mounting position to see if that does anything different. Maybe it'll get even warmer. We'll see. So we've driven for another 10 minutes. This time with our snorkel top on sideways. And we're back to an engine temperature of above 165, about 168 maybe? One, something like that. It's hard to tell with these auto meter gauges that are staggered at an unusual rate in my opinion. But it's also still minus 13, so at least that stayed the same. Where, you know, it's a tough experiment when the temperature is changing as you're driving, but I think what we're trying to do, if we're sticking minus 13 here, we might uh, swap it back to backwards and then see, because that was minus 14 when we were backwards the first time, and see if there's any temperature change when we go back to a backwards mounted direction. So we're going to do that again, stop one more time, it's going to be a little longer drive. But. So we're back another five minutes in here to having the snorkel backwards facing again. And it looked like the engine didn't heat up as fast as it did the last time when we went to the uh, side or forward facing direction, but it's, and it may be a little lower temperature wise. But the so rear facing, it, it's now minus 13 for this fourth test, which is a repeat of the first test, reverse facing, but that test was at minus 14. This test minus 13, which is comparable to the forward facing and side facing tests. So at this point, it doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it does seem like it is a little cooler when, when in the rear facing position. So, you know, that's maybe good. I mean, right now when it's minus 14, you're kind of, I almost want to see the engine a little warmer just to make sure it's getting the right oil viscosity maybe. 
I don't know if viscosity is the right word, but yeah, I think the other consideration on the side facing where the holes are is facing your windshield is for us when we're driving on the right right hand side of the road. I've driven by some people who you know they they hit a big puddle on the highway and we're driving the opposite direction and the puddle splashes on our car if it's side facing towards the windshield your your intake through the snorkel is going to be a little more protected for whatever it's worth i mean I, safari snorkel i believe i've read some literature saying that the, the centrifugal force from the cyclonic air motion within the snorkel pulled the moisture and water, snow, to the walls of the snorkel, which prevented any moisture getting into your uh, intake and engine. But, you know, is that true? 100%? I don't know how you can do that without putting some sort of cameras in a snorkel while it's driving and putting different moistures in there. All we can say now is that the temperature seems a little cooler in our coolant temperature gauge in our engine relative to when we had it in the front or side facing position versus the rear facing. So, you know, maybe there's some, maybe there's some validity to that. I'd be interested to see what people think. I definitely haven't seen a video talking about snorkels effects on engine temperature, running temperatures. We've got a 4.6 liter V8 engine. You know, would this be the same for a turbo? Would this be the same for, you know, a diesel? I don't know. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Enjoy the drive.